Working with InTemp Reports Once we've downloaded our data from our data logger, we're being asked how we want to share our data. We can send it via a message. Again, these the selections that you see here will change from device to device depending on what kind of tablet or smartphone you're using and what kind of apps you have available. You will always have the ability to email your data if you want to. You can also just look at the data. We're going to just look at it right now just to show you what a report looks like. So here's our report. And again, it says we were in an alarm state. It tells us who was logged in, which was me, when the uh, report was created. And it gives us a bunch of information that's, that's relevant to our deployment and that you want to share with your reporting department. After reviewing the data, and again, you have several pages of your report. You don't have to review it. You can just immediately email it to whomever is responsible for reviewing this documentation. But if you wish to um, view it first, like we're doing here, and then sending it off, up here in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see a little square with an arrow going up. That's a share button. And now we can go ahead and email it to whomever we wish. And you see it shows up as an attachment. And we can just put in their account. There is a way to automate this. And we're going to talk about that in a subsequent video.